back at it again out for a run this morning had my coffee headed out the door actually rained and had a little bit of thunder and lightning this morning too but it cleared up it's already almost dry out here so taking advantage while i can we're gonna be running on the neil smith trail which is right along the des moines river downtown just doing a short run today did the five miles yesterday probably just gonna do three or four today nothing more than that keep it short it's nice and cool out great weather for a run We are good old Union Park about halfway through the run at the moment we're at two miles so we're undoubtedly doing at least four miles today probably no more than that I always say that but uh, oh, it's, it's been a great run using the uh, new uh, I almost said Sacconi's Asics using the new Asics on the pavement today instead of on the trail and performing excellently I do have my patella strap on my knee there, which is also helping quite a bit, not experiencing any knee pain or anything like that, so that's good. As far as shout outs goes, I guess I might as well start here. Dan Runs, good old Dan Runs. Dan has a great channel, makes great running videos, super long runs, longer than I'll probably ever do, <laughs> to be honest. So Dan Runs, number one. Number two, going with my man on the east coast sean and side hustle inspiration it's not a running channel it's not even a vegan channel but he's a cool dude he makes good videos and people can actually learn some stuff from him so give him a sub next up sis went vegan sis went vegan does some really cool videos uh, although i haven't seen her post in a little while so hopefully she's still gonna pump some out here but again a great channel great vegan channel go check her out i'm gonna do a little bit more of my run and the shout outs will continue all right so we just passed mile three. Just going back the way we, same way we came. Next round of shout outs. Those vegan chefs. Pretty sure these guys are in Iowa actually. Um, wanna say I found their channel through a uh, vegan Iowa Facebook group, but they have incredible recipe videos. Go check them out. Next in line, Vegan Method. Vegan Method does some really good recipes as well very simple recipes so if you're like me and you don't want to use a ton of ingredients and do a ton of work in the kitchen check out vegan method shout out to the really picky vegan she does taste test videos different vegan products and her videos are great go throw her a sub next up my dude up in canada pupils cat wow I know a lot of a lot of people watching this might already follow Hupels, but if you don't, go check out his channel. It's an awesome channel. He makes really cool videos. Let's keep this rolling here. Next one, five minute cleanse. Don't think it's a vegan channel, but this young lady makes really good videos. Different reviews on the different attractions around town where she lives. I think it's London, over there across the pond. But. Uh, her channel and her videos definitely entertaining then we got travel vegan with me that's mi just watched her video of them uh going to edinburgh scotland and it's a great video it's a great channel some of these channels 
I'm really surprised how low their subscriber count is because I feel like they make better videos than I do. <laughs> but uh, either way, go check out that channel, throw them a sub. So stopping here at Robert D. Ray Asian Garden. It's just one of the really nice, beautiful places that I get to run through here in Des Moines. I'm gonna finish the list off here. Vegan Petite, she has lots of really good recipe videos. So definitely check out Vegan Petite's channel. It's a little harder doing this when you're running here. John the Vegan Runner, I'm pretty sure a lot of people watching my channel know John the Vegan Runner. He's been on YouTube for quite a while and he's picked up his uh, video posting game as of late. So if you're not already subscribed to him, go check out his channel, Swim, Bike, Run, Stew. Another person across the pond, I believe. Go throw him a sub, check out his videos. Next up, Vegan Twosome. I wanna say these guys are up in Canada. Apparently I follow a lot of people in Canada and, <laughs> and the UK. But uh, vegan twosome, they usually post about one video a week and it's them trying out like a different vegan restaurant or going to a different vegan event or something like that. And then kind of sitting down and discussing it and reviewing it. Either way, really cool channel, really cool people. Brie Soul, that's B-R-I-S-U-L. Go check out her channel. It's more like hiking videos and stuff like that. Well worth checking out. Go look into Brie Soul's channel. All right, last shout out of the day, Katie Popo. Uh, she makes all kinds of videos about different eating disorders and trying to overcome eating disorders and stuff like that So I feel like it's a channel that a lot of people could probably benefit from and it's an up-and-coming growing channel So go throw Katie Popo a sub show her some support. I'm gonna finish my runoff Almost home. Actually. I got like less than half a mile to go. I'll see you guys back at the apartment Now we're walking up to Gateway Market it's the only store that we can find some extremely delicious vegan ciabattas. We found a uh, vegan au jus sauce at Hy-Vee, which I meant to actually show in a, f a grocery haul before, but for whatever reason I forgot. But I'll show the uh, vegan au jus sauce here, hopefully in today's video. Run today ended up being 4.4 miles, so it wasn't a super long run. But it wasn't a super short one either. It's kind of a in-between run. Knee felt good, still feels good. Toe, feeling great. Yeah, all in all, everything's good. I'm wearing different shoes right now. Not wearing the Asics at the moment. I'm wearing my Ciccone ISO Exodus 3s, which if you go back through my videos, like two years ago, I did an unboxing on these. I think I wore them like two or three times running and hated them so then i just i walk around in them occasionally and that's pretty much it they still look brand new even though i've had them for like two years or two and a half years or something like that sorry there's a lot of traffic going on there but they're super old shoes that i just didn't like to run in they're too heavy Here's the bread that we just walked three and a half miles to go and get. The long ciabattas. Ingredients are water, flour, salt, and yeast. So nothing crazy in there, but these are gonna work well for our vegan French dips that we're gonna make tomorrow. I am gonna cook some seitan tonight, but we're not gonna eat it until tomorrow. It's usually better after it sits overnight in the fridge almost like chili or a soup how it kind of just gets better after it sits overnight same thing with seitan all right it's time to whip up dinner we're just doing a really simple dinner we're going to do some whole wheat angel hair pasta 
a little bit of pasta sauce. This is one of the ones that we got over at Hy-Vee. I don't think we've actually tried the Hy-Vee brand pasta sauce at this point. dinner nice big plate of pasta there along with our pasta we got a nice salad and I'm gonna be trying this uh, Asian sesame dressing with my salad it's a new one that we got from Aldi not too long ago well, that's gonna do it for vlogtober 5th to end the video today I'm gonna to show this clip of myself this morning drinking my coffee still thinking that I magically turned the GoPro camera off yesterday with a hand gesture I looked it up, you can't. It is capable of voice commands, but hand gestures mean nothing to the GoPro, so I'm just kind of wasting my time here. But I thought it was pretty funny, so I decided to include it anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Till tomorrow, take care. GoPro, stop recording.